Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 14, the Brethren Court Free Play for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. We are going to take a uh, couple seconds to get all the compass points and all the mini kits. So if that's what you're here for, yay! If you're looking for more of a walkthrough for the story, check out our level 14 Brethren Court Story Mode walkthrough. As always, we're going to show you what characters we think you should have. We uh, highly suggest you beat the entire story mode, which will give you the first two rows of characters. And then we uh, also suggest picking up Blackbeard. It never hurts to have the old Blackbearded soul with us. And now that we got our toggle character selected, we'll go ahead and hop into the level. Whee! I love how they bounce around. And I have sped this up, too, just in case you're wondering. And down below, there are quick links to all the mini kits and compass items. So if you're looking for a specific one, feel free to rifle through those. Right off the bat, though, we are going to start here with mini kit number one. You're going to run up to the first pirate lord and solve the puzzle, which is building up this silver statue likeness of himself. And then as soon as he gets out of here, we're going to destroy it. Shh, don't tell him. He looked pretty excited to have that statue back. And, uh, yeah, just to take it from him. Might not be the best thing to do. Might, might uh, change his mind about joining the team, you know. All right, mini kit number one in the bag. All right, so moving on to the right-hand side. Now, this level is very, uh, I wouldn't say confusing, but there's lots of options. And we're going to kind of go to the right-hand side, work our way back to the left, and then head up to the top. So, yeah, we are going to sneak up one last. Uh, y well, you'll see, you'll see. All right, so we are grabbing a compass item here. And we do have to ride the old skeleton bone elevator. Once you get to the top, you're going to keep on keeping on with your compass out. And it's going to lead us all the way up to another pirate lord up here. And lucky for us, the compass item is right here. Oh, to the yeah. So, although it says three down in the corner, we will catch up. We had to get three in the story mode. I apologize for that. But... Once you find the wheel, put it on there, spin to win, and it'll raise the boat and free the Pirate Lord. Now, before advancing, you're going to want to start a mini kit here. And uh, when I say start, I mean there's kind of two parts. You kind of have to break this skull mask here and then drop down to where that triangle in the bottom right corner is pointing and then ride a boat out there. But we'll get to the second half in a minute. That is going to be for mini kit number four. But make sure that you use Blackbeard to destroy that mask on the boat that you pulled up. All right, once you have uh, destroyed the mask, you are free to make your way down any way you so choose. Now would be a decent time to go ahead and hop in that boat. To be completely honest with you, we weren't 100% sure what we were supposed to do, and we tried to get in the boat right there, but it actually switched characters rather than... <laughs> so triangle is the same button to switch characters as it is to enter a vehicle, and we got hosed on that one. So we probably would have got that mini kit right away, but being that it switched us to Jack, we were right here at the puzzle, we figured, hey, why not? We're always good for a nice little challenge. This one's pretty simple. You've seen this one before in the story mode. Spin it one way. Once you need to spin it the other way, pull the chain. And I ain't pulling your chain, man. All right, so now that that has dropped into place, we'll go ahead and pick it up. No, no, no. No compass items. Pick it up. What you doing? Cha-cha, cha-cha. That's not going to help. Pick it up. All right. Now that we got that in our hands, wander over and place it where the golden arrow indicates, which is actually going to free the old Frenchie pirate. Oh, yeah. All to the yeah. And now we can go ahead and uh, pull out our compass. So we are going to... You have to solve the puzzle first before you can use your compass. That's why I was hollering at myself going, no. And once you uh, solve it, use the compass and you'll find an orange handle. And then pull that orange handle, which will actually reset a puzzle. And then now we got to solve this or complete it. I don't know if I'd say solve it. It's pretty simple. It's just a matter of spin, spinning the wheel. And as before, same thing goes. Pull the chain and spin the wheel. And keep on keeping on. Come on, Blackbeard. What you doing? Oh, we got lucky there. We got an easy break, and then we messed it up. Bummer deal. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. Any guesses what it's going to be? What it's going to be? Oh, I guess you can already see down in the corner. Boikashow. Mini kit number two. All right, so we're having we're having uh, sweet dreams about going to get that mini kit flashing over there, but we're not quite ready for that yet. We're actually going to backtrack a little bit and walk out towards the screen on the pier here. Not right there. Get away from us, buddy. 
You can see there's an icon flashing right there indicating that there's a mini kit, but wait a minute, how do we get it? Well, we have to go out on this pier and we have to shoot the target that we provide once we put our trusty sword in there. The problem is we need both characters there to do it. One needs to be able to put a sword in and one needs to be able to shoot. Thank goodness it's free play. We shouldn't have a problem with that. It's just a matter of getting them right place at the right time. All right, once you blast the target, it'll drop down the bridge. You can make your way across. There's a couple cannons. And we're going to need some flame, which is conveniently placed right there for us. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and light it up. And this one gets, uh, well, let's just put it this way. We have uh, we just upgraded our editing software, and we're experiencing some new issues that weren't there before. And uh, I would have sped this up dramatically, because this is ridiculous how horrible I am. Feel free to, you know, remind me at any point while watching this of how great or not great my aim is. I try to, like, lead them, and then I'm like, no, I'm going to go up here. Oh, wait. No, I'm going to go over here. Oh, whoops. Uh, pick one and shoot it, people. That's the best recommendation I can give you. And eventually, you're going to have to switch cannons because you can't quite get that top right one. And then, hey, wait a minute. What's that? I already shot that guy. Maybe when you switch cannons, I don't know, it resets one. Whatever. Whatever the case may be, blast away till they're all gone, and that mini kit will pop up right where that icon was indicating a minute ago. Oh, yeah. Swoop it up, swoop it up. All right, so now... Let's uh, let's take a little ride in the elevator. Unfortunately, the music isn't what we would hope it would be. Like some, you know, mid-80s tunes or something like that. Psych! We're actually going to hop out and go on the boat, finally. Row, row, row your boat to the mini kit. Grab the studs while you're there. And, yeah, I, I don't really have anything crafty to finish that with. Sorry. I know it's a big letdown. Story of my life. All right, so we've got all the mini kits and all the items over on the right-hand side, so we're going to kind of work our way back towards the middle. And there is the red and white checkerboard. We're going to jump back and forth. I'm not even sure what to call that, but we're going to do the old shimmy-sham jump back and forth. Oh, yeah. All the way to the top. This is kind of the middle area, but it's up kind of the middle top middle area. So go ahead and pull the dude's chain, and he's going to do 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 play some weird like Lord of the Rings song wrong movie buddy I don't know it just sounds a little elfish to me dwarfy he is kind of a dwarf looking dude ain't he all right jump around jump around jump 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 up and get down everybody jump 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 everybody jump all right last little segment here and then we'll go ahead and free the pirate lord and then he'll get on out of here yeah get on out of here Whoa. going up all right, now we got two hippie, hippie hop spots. So we'll go ahead and pull out two females. You do have to actually uh, select both females, and then once you jump up there, the other one will jump. Otherwise, the other one will just sit there jumping back and forth. So unfortunately, you have to go through and complete another dance puzzle. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, hello. I know it's able to hang out, but that's getting ridiculous. So finish the puzzle. And right where the little triangle is flashing like crazy, look, the little disco triangle. It, uh, it'll it provide us. Look at, me, look at me. I'm lost. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like, what What was that? I wasn't paying attention. I thought they were showing me something cool and going to give me a mini kit. But no, I had to work for this thing. So the good news is you don't really have to get it right. At least, like, you can't really fail. You do have to get it right. I guess that, that's obvious. But you can't really fail. If you get the wrong one, you just walk around to the next one. Was it this one? Nope. All right, how about this one? How about this one? See, look at me. Like, uh, is it this one? Oh, let me jump up here for a while. No, 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 no. All right. Oh, and then eventually I just get it. So I don't know if I just got lucky there or if it just felt bad for me or what. But regardless, that's half the mini kits for the level, so I won't complain. All right, now we're going to pretend like we got a compass item up here, but really we don't. So just drop on down. Uh, I don't recommend just free falling because it gets kind of squirrely real fast. Maybe drop down through the red checkerboards. As you can see, too, there is a flashing icon right there indicating that there is a mini kit there as well. It's one of the last ones we get. Um, it's up at the very, very, very top, and we'll show you that in a minute. There's a there's a barrel we find with a compass, and then we write it down. It's kind of an homage to the old pirate ride at Disneyland or Disney World or wherever all those places are that have that fun ride. It's actually pretty cool. I haven't been there in like 20 years, but 
whatever. It was still cool. All right, so I juked you out here. There's totally not a compass item right here. There is, but it was the wrong one I selected. We actually need to select the torch, and we'll come back and do that here once we flip this cannon around and get it into place. Now, now we need a torch, right? Can't light a can't light a cannon without a torch. So we got that uh, compass out. We follow it along, and booyaka shall. Compass item number three is now ours for the keeping. Once you get the flame, go ahead and blast the cannon and shoot the locks off, which will give Buddy his hat, and he'll be all happy, and he'll jam out. Now you got to blow up that chest, which you probably did in the first one, and you notice there's a little little hobbit hole behind there, a little mini, mini door. So grab the dog, grab Marty, whatever, and uh, hop up there and grab the mini kit that's just hanging out, waiting for you to come jump. I figured I'd give the doggy dog some time. He hasn't had any successful uh, productive time lately, so... All right, we're going to drop right down. You saw there's a little zip line. We jumped off of it so we wouldn't go all the way down. And immediately we used our compass and found one of the items, the little shine items we need to put here. And we'll go ahead and place the other one. We push the box into place. And the last one's just kind of hanging out out front on the front. You should remember all this from story mode. If not, you're welcome for showing you. Once you, uh, so, oh, yeah, by the way, this guy's a jerk. He sits there and waits for you, too. See that? He's not going to go anywhere, and I have a problem at the end. We have actually have kind of a hard edit at the end that you need to, like, ride the elevator up with this guy. Otherwise, he's not going to go join your brethren court up top. But that being said, back to the back to the task at hand, switch to somebody who can blast that target up top. Marty seems to be the favorite for me, and once it drops, it's going to drop down a little uh, bar that you're going to need a female character to swing around and jump up off of it. Problem is, I jumped the wrong way. I'm looking the wrong way here. You got to be looking towards the mini kit to get the desired effect. So, save yourself some time and make sure you're looking at it and spin to win and jump up there. Woohoo! Mini kit seven. All right. So now I get kind of lost in translation here. I just kind of jumping around, looking around, doing whatever. So we get back on track here in a second. I promise. And look at me. I'm just like I don't even know where I'm going. I'm sliding. This ain't no water slide. All right, we are back at the very beginning at the start. We're going to go ahead and pull out our compass. And we're going to make our way up the hill with it. And it's going to eventually lead us to the promised land. No, actually, it's just going to be fishy, fishy, fishy. Actually, it's not fish this time. It's a big mask. One of those masks. I, you know, I still don't get it. I don't like those masks. I'm not a big fan. I mean, I know what they represent. You know, a little, little uh, homage to the movies or whatnot. But... Come on, they're huge. They're it's like big head syndrome. Vivo Vladi got more head than he got body. All right, making our way all the way back up, following this compass that seems to be taking forever. This one actually takes us out to the pier. Uh, I should have grabbed this one earlier. Had I have known it was right here, then I would have grabbed it for you. But my bad. So you've seen this before. It gives us a barrel, and really we don't have any use for that barrel, at least not as of right now. The next compass item is nowhere near us, so we're going to go ahead and pull out of that and not get into that. Now we're a little closer. We're going to check it out again, and let's see here. Hmm, where is it going? It's, uh, it's uh, pointing up top. top. we got to make our way up top. Ba-boing, ba-boing, ba-boing. And one more. Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, so here we are back up top, and we're pulling out our compass, and it's still not here. So where are we going? We're going to follow it in through the elevator and all the way to the top. And remember I was telling you about uh, the barrel up top? Well, we're getting pretty close. Getting pretty close. This is uh, one of my least favorite levels. I mean, I, I like the level design, but the way the collectibles were scattered and, you know, just the way it all worked out for me, I, you know, I, it's one of the more... Uh, frustrating ones for me. I had a, I had a glitchy character. Watch this right here too. Speaking of glitchy, look at this guy. What was that? Um, but anyway, so you follow it all the way to the top, and this is one of the coolest things of the game, if you ask me. I, I love this. I, I mean, I'm a huge sucker for water slides, and look, I could not wait to get on that barrel and wee. Yeah, I couldn't quite hit that high pitched note. My bad. <laughs> Make it all the way down though, and grab mini kit number eight. We talked about that a little bit ago, so. I delivered where I promised I would. And yeah, I don't like the chains. I have a problem. Like, I like to be able to double jump up the chains, and it doesn't seem to work that way. So I just give up, and I get my shimmy sham jump going up the red and white checkerboard. We'll go ahead and ride the elevator back up to the top one more time. 
Hello, come on. Come on, doppelganger. And now that we're both up top, we're going to go ahead and head on o up to the Brethren Court area. We think we're done, but we're not. We are not done yet. This is where the hard edit is because Buddy was down in the elevator. Watch this. Ready? Oh, look at this. Okay, spin to win. No, oh, we need the eighth guy. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Oh, there he is. Uh -huh. How'd you like that? <laughs> Saved us about two and a half minutes of ridiculousness. I know I don't usually uh, do edits like that. I try to keep it all in one thing. Oh, having second thoughts? I better go inside. All right, so this is kind of the home stretch. The story mode was a lot easier to complete because it's more obvious. I had forgotten <laughs> what to do here. But right off the bat, we're going to destroy the silver bricks, which we couldn't do in story, and make our way in. And as soon as we get inside, we follow the tornado, which has it takes us all the way up and over and through the woods. And we don't even get to Grandma's house. It just It's a long diversion. And here we go, finally all the way around. And it turns us around. And wait, we were just here. Why? What? What? Regardless, we got the final compass item, so enough of those. We're done with those. We can go ahead and switch on over to either Philip or Serena. And scream your little lungs out. Ah. All right. Woohoo. There's number nine. And, yeah, let's go beat the wall over there. I don't think that's going to do us any good. All right. So we're going to go right back into the other side. And here's where I got a little confused, but... Uh, not really. It's coming up, actually. So use bootstrap to slide on in. This puts us right in the jail cell. You cannot miss the mini kit. You literally walk into it before you get out of the schmigma. And, uh, yeah, and then up top, you just bust it all up, and that's, you know, pretty much it. Other than the end of the level, if you don't remember how to beat it, I don't recommend watching me. I I messed this up. I forgot you had to go in with Marty and pull the, the little lever down below. I'm, like, going back and forth. See, there's another hard edit right there just because I was all over the place. And now that I got it all figured out, woohoo! I'm like, yeah, there it is. The promised land. Yeah, I smacked the dog because he didn't tell me. Come on, man. You're supposed to be able to supposed to be able to lead the way like Lassie. You know? That's how we roll. Alright, so hanging out with Marty. Should be a new uh, reality TV show. One of these days I'll get off there. Alright. And I don't want the dog, but I'll go ahead and switch to a character. Any character will do. And we'll grab the box, and we'll carry it back up and set it on the green panel out on the table. And guess what? That'll wrap it up. So, Oh, to the yeah. Nothing like the total screen. Here's the living proof. We knocked out all eight compasses, and we got all ten mini kits to build our, our shippy shippy. All right. Well, what would you guys think? Productive? Not productive? Did you like the barrel ride? Tell me down below in the comments. Uh, but that, yeah, that'll wrap up level 14, Brethren Court, where we got, uh, you know, all the way through free play. You thought I was going to miss that, didn't you? No. All right, again, if you felt this video was helpful or you just want to simply hang out with us, head on over to Facebook or give us a tweet on Twitter. And uh, subscribe, comment, vote down below if you haven't already involved yourself in one or more of those actions. And, yeah, there's also a link to our playlist. There's a link to a trophy guide, trophy achievement guide, my bad, uh, where we walk through all the stuff that we don't cover in any of these videos. Also a link to the artist that created our Lego likeness down there, our HTG Lego likeness. So, yeah, out to the air. Hopefully you uh, will stick around and join us in level 15. As always, until next time. See ya.